Vitus Carolina. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at cops blaming. This is Danny Richardson, and she recently began filming the police. And they are always trying to cops blame her all the time. Here's a great example. So please go stand over there. Do not stand in the street. Don't tell me what to do. I don't I respond well to that. Stand in the street. You can be on the sidewalk. I'm going to cite you for walking in the street. What's Please the law the on sidewalk. that? There is a pedestrian in the roadway. There is a citation for it. <laughs> Please don't make me cite you for it, Dr. Richardson. Cite me. Cite me. Are we going to play that game, Dr. Richardson? As a doctor, are you really going to argue with this? This is what we want to do? I don't mind you filming, and you know that. That's a lie, Mascarenas. How about a stop talking to me? How about that? I can talk to you. Just don't. Like you can talk to me, Dr. Richardson. I would expect more from a doctor than walking around. In walking, the walking on a crosswalk? Stop following me. How about that? Yeah, stop following me. Dr. Richardson, please. I'm talking to you as a professional. You're a doctor. You're a professional. I'm a professional. Please. We don't mind if you film, Dr. Richardson. As a professional, I'm asking you. I'm being polite to you, Dr. Richardson. What are you asking me right now, Mascarenas? I'm just talking to you. Then stop. I have nothing to say to you. But I can talk to you. It's okay. It's perfectly legal for me to talk to you, ma'am. Okay? So we can play the game. When I ask you to stop talking to me and you don't, that's a sign of disrespect. It's not. Yes, it is. Okay, well, that's your opinion on that. That's how I'm going to interpret that. When you force conversation on me, mm -hmm. that is not consentful. It's disrespectful. I don't need consent to talk to you. Wow, that guy's kind of weird, isn't he? So what exactly is cops blaming? What came from the word cop and explain? And when you put those two words together, that's when you get cops blaming. Now, cops blaming is when a cop will talk down to you with disdain and tell you things you already know, and he does it in a condescending way. And he just won't shut up. It's and it's always about things you already know about. Here's another great example. This is Lane Myers' channel. And do you know that game wardens also cops playing? Well, this one sure does. And Lane Myers is going to shut him completely down because he's a lawyer. And that's what he gets. Stay. What are you doing today? What are you doing? What are you doing today? How are you doing? Good. Can I help you with something? Oh, I was just curious for all I hunt in the day. Or not. No, just out camping? Have a nice day. Okay. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. What was your name and badge number? Hey. He's on training. He's on training? Yeah, he doesn't, he, he, he thinks he's look. he's just trying to talk to everybody. I know. Okay. And I'm no. trying not to talk to anybody. Okay. Because it's my right. Yeah, it is. And you I guys just... don't have the right to come up to people that aren't obviously hunting. Yep. But but I get it. I don't want to start an argument with you. He's a rookie. Okay. You you have no reasonable suspicion to come up to me. You're in. I'm an attorney. You're so in a you're... national forest. We can come talk to you. No, you can't. Yeah. I'm an attorney. What's your name and badge number? Officer Portal. Thank 328. you. We're, we're not hunting. We're about to leave. Have a nice day. But we can talk to. We can come up. And I can ignore you, just like not, I did, right? But you're not ignoring us. I ignored him, right? Kind of. Okay. Okay. I'll, I could play the game too. I'm just. No, no reason to, to get all... all right, up, actually, up, there, actually up, there is. There's cops standing in front of me at 7 a.m. for no reason. You're in National Forest. That's You're what? fishing game. We're a state certified peace officer. Guess what? You also are on my land. It's my land, too. So, so, so I have the right to be offended that you're standing here asking me questions with no reason. Does it look like I'm hunting? I was just asking the question. That's what I'm saying. I mean, we can walk around your camp with no, with no issues. You're on forest. Mm, you can get sued, too. I can't go into your stuff, but I can walk well, that's around. That's what I'm saying. But, but you I'm can't, not but not without reasonable suspicion. You can't just pull up to my camp and walk around. Uh, yeah, I can. No, you can't. It's forced. Do you have reasonable suspicion to believe I'm hunting? You could, now, I'll, I'll, agree, I'll agree I'll agree that matter. you could do that if I'm hunting. If you, no. if you, if you, if you, have, if you see mountain bikes, okay, you can't. If you see hunting, you can. You do not have unauthor, un, un, uh, unchecked power to just walk into people's camps at any time. Yeah, we do. Not in the National Forest. Yes, On do. state land, you do. Dude. No. All right. So now I'm going to have to turn this into a... You're, you're going to be on right. my YouTube. Have a great you're day. You're going to get a bunch of calls. Good. I'm going to make a formal complaint against you. Yeah. And w what was your badge number? I'm Officer Riley, but badge 451. We're just all trying right. to be cordial. Just, just, That's all we're trying to do here. Uh, uh, coming up to people and telling them how you think you can go places and do things isn't cordial. We didn't walk around your stuff. But you said you could. We could. 
and you have a badge and a gun, right? So that's intimidating in and of itself, right? So if you're attempting to intimidate me, it's not going to work. Who, who, why telling you... me, telling me that I said I'm not comfortable with you coming up to me, and you said, "Well, I can walk around your camp if I want." So how, how is that cordial? Because you started out with Natalie. I started out by ignoring you, right, hoping you'd turn around and leave, right, because you should pick up on the hint that unless you have reasonable suspicion, we have no reason to talk to you, right? You're talking to lawyers right now. But you're talking to us. Because I want you to fucking leave and I want to make a YouTube video clowning you now. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. You didn't, still didn't say your badge number either. Yeah, it's a 328. 328. Yeah, All watch right. your video. Who's your Who's your uh, supervisor? Uh, Paul Greer. So you're telling me when I take Paul Greer, he's going to tell me that you guys could... As a matter of fact, I don't even need to... You show me the ARS that authorizes you to walk through people's camps. Show me the ARS that said you can't. Yeah, it's called... There has to be a law that said you can't do something. It's called reasonable articulable if suspicion. If there's probable not a cause. law, you can do it. Tell me what... Tell so me you can make up laws. No, you're I'm saying... I'm not making up no, laws. No, what you're saying... But, but hear me out now. Okay, you wanted me to leave... You're, you're, so I'm you're, you're saying you can walk into somebody's camp without reasonable suspicion, right? There you go. He knew when he was a loser, and that's why he left. Because he's a loser. He's a loser cops cleaner. And that's what you call the drive of shame. Always from the police is not intimidated by the police, so it's very easy for him to shut down any kind of unnecessary directives or condescending tones like this officer gives him. Hey, hey, you, I don't need your directives. I'm, I'm not committing a crime. Stay away from me. No. Don't walk no. towards me. Stay away from me. No. You don't get to pick where I stand in public, buddy. Okay. Get away from I me. I'm going to search you for weapons. I don't know. What oh, get know. away from me, you coward. Just go down there. You coward. You ain't going to search me for nothing, buddy. You, tape, but go down the you don't tell me where to go, Streeback. Get away from me. Go over there with your buddy. You see how he's smart enough not to say nothing to me? You see how he's smart enough not to say nothing to me? But, you, but you're dumb enough too, right? No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You don't have to ask me nothing. Back up, man. Good. Stand right there. I mean, no ill will or intent towards you. Go do your job. Okay, I just asked you to step away. I don't care what you asked. I don't. It's not a law, buddy. Is that a law? You're a law enforcement, aren't you? Thank you. I don't know what you are I'm standing here with the camera in my hand, genius. <laughs> well, I can see you just said you can stand there then. Yeah, well, I didn't say you couldn't stand there. I didn't try to tell you to go somewhere like you did me, jackass. <laughs> yeah, I got freedom of speech too, by the way, buddy. Yeah, I know you know, and it's you look at your disdain towards me because you can't stand it. No, it's because yeah. Proper would have been leave me alone when I walk up to you. That's what have been proper. That's why the public can't stand you, scumbags. Always trying to tell people what lawfully they can and can't do. I said you could tape to scoot it down. I don't need your permission though. That's where you're wrong. Okay. Giving me permission to you tape. Need... I don't need it from you. The right. constitution of this great place gives it to me. So hey, here's another law in Indiana. I'm not yelling at you. I'm asking you to quiet down. Stop screaming and yelling. Bud, I can protest anywhere I want and be as loud as I want. You're right, you can protest. Exactly, exactly. So let's be quiet now, sir. Okay, stop screaming. Number 63. Stop this is my normal voice, buddy. Okay. This is my normal voice. This next part is hilarious. You're going to love it. So this is Officer Strebeck, number 63. He's from Griffith. Do not walk He's a on. moron. Do then we got number nine. Directions. Giving you a legal walk with directive. Do not walk up on the <laughs> We got number 63. That's This is his car. He's a canine douche. Got number eight. What's your name and badge number? 
if they can just get somebody with a license to let I already know who you are. You don't need to identify you yourself. Just don't walk I, I don't. up on us. I'm not telling you again. Don't walk up on us. Hey, didn't he already say he wasn't going to say it again? But he did. Notice how this guy's not saying nothing to me? Because he's on the radio, He's man. not saying nothing to me, bro. But you keep on talking. I know you're not. I would never be a pig. Okay, that's <laughs> never in my life. You're very disrespectful. No good <laughs> so are you by telling me what to do as soon as I walked up. You should have you shut your up? mouth. Did you you should have shut up? your mouth and you wouldn't have had this. Right, man. <laughs> I'm going to stand right here, buddy. You don't walk up on us. I don't know what you're about to do. Don't. You're a coward, dude. Okay. You shouldn't be a police officer if you're scared of people walking up on you. Okay. Coward. You're going to be all over the internet in about an hour, buddy. What a coward, man. This is what our tax money pays for? Don't walk up on me. Don't walk up on me. And that's how you take care of a cop's banner. Thanks for watching, everybody.